Okay, here we go. So this is Coliseum Season 6 uh, Playoffs. We are in the semifinals. Uh, we're playing the Vicious Volcaronas and Checkmate. Uh, we beat him earlier in the season, but it was on, um, we got lucky with a Corsola uh, curse body. I can't remember if that was pure hacks, if we still had a chance one way or the other. Um, I didn't rewatch the video. Probably should have. I didn't prep as much as I probably should have, but uh, that's all right. Um, semifinals. Um, I'm not, I'm not the most hopeful today. Uh, I told him to send me a challenge when he's ready. Um. So we'll see how this goes. Um, sent. Wait, oh, he's got... Okay. <laughs> Incompatible moves, he says. So he has to figure something out real quick. Uh, hopefully that doesn't take too long. Um, <clears throat> I wonder what his incompatible move was. That's funny. That's usually something like, uh, you know, um, like Zapdos gets... This just comes to my mind immediately. Well, that's not a good example, actually. But, like, so let's say you get a move from, like, an event in Gen 3 or something. and uh, But then you need, like, a Gen 7 egg move. Um, so you can't technically have both. Oh, no, I guess you could in Gen 8. So what? I'm actually kind of surprised. Incompatible move. I wonder what... Uh, I wonder what it could be. I mean, there are there are things like that, right? So I'm thinking egg move, but, um, or actually a lot of times it's ability. Maybe that's it. But even now you can get hidden abilities from any, anything. So you can use tutor, move tutors, anything from a long time ago. Um, I'm kind of surprised, I guess, to see that in Gen 8 because they fixed a lot of that. All right. There's the challenge. Um, we will just go ahead and accept it. We're going to say, good luck, have fun, man. Um, I will try to share... The uh, <clears throat> share the link here. Oh, did he already do it? He just did it. Yep. Okay. Um, let's see. Looking at my team builder spreadsheet, uh, he brought Aerodactyl, obviously. Oh, yeah. So, this is why I'm not feeling very good about this match. Uh, Nido King and Conkelder are huge, huge problems for my team. Um, he loves to see the star me, yeah. <laughs> I'll just wink at him. Um, um yeah, so uh yeah, the, his team, I man, I have pretty much nothing for Conkelder. Nido King also basically always gets a kill. This is gonna be really hard. Um he's a good player, uh, and this is gonna be really hard. <laughs> Uh, let's see, no clef key, um, does that mean, let's see, so center view, no, we want to save that for Aerodactyl still, uh, I kind of, want, no, that needs to be my pivot, oh boy, and I don't have, let's see, everything needs to be a switch to something, so what do I think he's going to lead, what if he leads, uh, I'm going to guess it's going to be either Nidoking, a Scarf I Dragon or this Silvali. Uh, I'm going to. What can I'm going to go? I'm going to go ahead and lead Lapani. Okay, so I'm going to guess that this is Scarfed. Um, so part of me wants to go hard. Actually, we can just fake out. Right. I don't care that we reveal we have it. Chip is chip, man. Chip is chip. Also, if he's not Scarf, he probably isn't staying in. So we'll get to find that out. But lead, lead very much suggests to me Scarf. Yep, yeah, okay, okay. So you're going to go right into Slow King. We're going to get a fake out chip. Oh, Rocky Helmet. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we need to save Parker for the Nido King... For the Hydreigon and this thing. So I think I think we go into Parker here. It teleports out, of course. Um, excuse me. So that's a problem for Lopany. That's a problem for us in general, actually. Do I have a way of hitting? Yeah, Dazzling Gleam. Okay, because what we're going to try to do... Uh, Sloking is... Oh my god, did I... 
team builder. Did I not put... Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so if he's actually min speed, he will outspeed me in Trick Room, which is bad. Not what we wanted. And here comes the monster. <laughs> Do I want to... The first monster. Nitto King is also a monster. I need this thing for Nitto King. I can bluff with uh, Hatterene, because last time I beat his Nitto King by having a Kebia Berry on Hat. I can bluff it next time, but uh, he can click Rock Slide here fairly safely. Um, how much damage is that going to do to me? Because I'm obviously specially defensive. Oh boy, this monster. Let's see, Facade is almost knocking me out. Um, Rock Slide would, uh, can knock me out. Ah, oh, man, I need this thing for the Nidoking. King. Um, I guess the play, I, the plan was to, to use Incineroar as a pivot, so. Facade comes out, okay, good, 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 good. And we have leftovers, um, I can parting shot. Hopefully, uh, let's see. Oh, good. You can't hear them. Good. Perfect. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're going to party shit out. We should be faster. Um, I think. Oh, boy. <laughs> if he's max speed. Well, then we know, right? Then we know. So we're going to go ahead and party shot. Um, that was dangerous. Man, this 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 game, again, I mean, I, this is going to be a really, really hard game to win, I think. Um, what's the saying in sports in general, right? Um, it's hard to beat a good team. It's really hard to to beat a good team twice. <laughs> um, so, okay, nice. We got a nice little party shot off on this thing. So now I get to go for free into, let's see. Um, what happens first, the Rocky Helmet or the, the Leech Life damage? I wonder. The funny thing is I kind of want to be in <laughs> with Saba on this right now. Uh, huh. I could go in a hat and click Trick Room, but I can't power through this yet. We have to, we have to do more damage to this first. Um, I guess we'll go into. You don't have rocks. Oh, you have rocks either on Aerodactyl. You don't want rocks on Aerodactyl, and you don't really want them on Nidoking King either. Um, Leech Life or Liquidation. The question is because of Water Bubble. I wonder if it actually does more it does less um and actually neither one well least life will do enough that at least regenerator will not take care of all of it uh we'll leech life he does go straight conk elder i should have gone for the uh that's unfortunate uh this time i'm going to predict him to drain to do the fighting move i'm going to liquidate I'm going to predict him to predict me going into Incineroar. The thing is, Facade still does a lot to Incineroar. Um, so he could he could pretty safely do that. This is a very risky play. But if he predicts correctly and, and just... Drain Punch, yes! Okay. That was a beautiful prediction by us. Okay, so you're going to take that chunk back. Your defense is going to go down. Um... That was a huge prediction for us. This time we're definitely going Saba. Um, he facades this time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, now do we want a Flare Blitz? Is that going to knock out a Conk Elder? Um, let's see. Uh, Incineroar, Flare Blitz. If he's got no HP investment, it does. If he is like max HP... Um, well, let's look at the damage from from Parker. Li uh, liquidation, or... Yeah, we hit him with a liquidation, right? Oh, he's at minus defense, too. Uh, so actually, can we even go into... Can we even knock off? Oh my god, if we can catch the Slow King on a knockoff. Okay, so liquidation did 43. So he's not max HP. Um, he's not max HP. He's at minus one defense. Can we knock off? I kind of want to knock off. No, but that's not safe because if he drain punches, he's going to get a lot of HP back. But then we can come up with Starmie. I'm going to knock off. 
Ah! Okay, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Um, he's going to go down a burn pretty soon. Uh, I think the safe thing is to knock off a get. Now, how much did knock off do? 26? Is that within... Ra that's like a min roll. Uh, so he's got a little bit of investment. Let's so let's go ahead and put it like halfway, 152. Uh, so now 26 is like halfway. Okay. Now if he has no item, if he has no item, oh he's gonna mock punch. He can mock punch. Um, this thing has done its job though. Uh, no, it can still come in on slow king, which is nice. Uh, do we want to mock punch? Will take me out. Will he go down to burn? I don't think so. Right. Um, and Mach Punch, will, no one really wants to take a Mach Punch. Um, oh boy. Like I said, this is going to be a tough game. Um, I could, I really like preserving this to deal with the Slow King, but then again, Parker is also very good for that. Um, so Knockoff will knock him out. I'm going to do a knockoff. Yes! Yes! Oh, my God. Yes. And we crit him. Oh, boy. That was huge. That turn was huge. That turn was huge. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Um, what do we go into now? Um, I think Wifey is the play. Um, let's see. Slow King. He's saying the crit mattered for sure. I'll say, yep, definitely. Um, yep, he's right. Crit definitely mattered, because if he's, even if he has no defense investment, uh, the knockoff does 72 to 85. And so with a crit, um, a crit does knock him out every time, but... Um, let's see. I think the safest thing is to go into wifey. Aerodactyl comes out. We'll fake out for damage. That, that, that read and that crit was huge. So we're going to get a little chip there. Um, and then we're going to go into centrifuge, which was the plan the whole time. Dual wing beat is going to do very little. Uh, we're going to get a little recovery. I kind of want to click Stealth Rock to weaken this thing. Um, so we're going to do that. Divinia. <laughs> Somebody's rooting for me. Toxic comes out. Ooh, that's not good. Um, I think so now. Did I put Stone Edge on this right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, but now it's obvious. Now the Stone Edge is obvious now that I got rocks. Um, do I Ice Shard? Now I'll Stone Edge. Conkeldurk comes out. Okay, that's fine. So unless we... Okay, we do connect. Um, okay, so one huge threat is gone. Silvali... Uh, this is Silvali Fairy comes out. Silvali Fairy. What are you going to do to me? Probably Defog, right? Probably Defog. Um, which is a good play and why I should have Stone Edge the first time. Uh, is this where... So he has... So now, oh my god, if I get Trick Room up now, who do I set Trick Room on? Probably Hydreigon. Maybe this thing. Um, oh my god, if, if, if we get Trick Room up with Hat now, I think we win. Uh, let's, and actually Starmie's running out. If this is Scarfed, which it probably is. Oh no, it's not because he's, maybe it's not because he switched out. Or he could be bluffing that he's not. Oh man. Uh, we're going to go Parker. Yeah, Defog was obvious there. That's fine. Um, I'm going to fire a liquidation because nothing's going to really come in on that. Uh, it just weakens everything, right? This thing needs to be weakened for, um, multi-attack comes out, liquidation comes out. Uh, if we lost 40%, oh boy, this is going to be a roll. Um, does Silvali get, so if it's Silvali Fairy, Silvali... Basically, I'm trying to wonder if I can just set up on this now. Um, Silvali so Fairy. Let's see. Silvali so Smogon. That's the easiest way to figure it out. Um, Sword and Shield. Uh, do you get, like, Iron Tail or anything? 
You get flash cannon. That's okay. You get iron head. That's that's the bigger issue. Um, I'm gonna rest and hope we live. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. Okay. Back to the calculator here. So now he's gonna go into probably the hydragon because he's expecting another liquidate. If I had to guess, but we're gonna be rested up and we can just click sleep talk. Actually, he has a huge problem with with this right now. Um, he can go into the Aerodactyl still, uh, but he wouldn't right now because the liquidation makes too much sense. Um, he wouldn't go right now, I don't think. I mean, that would be a heck of that would be a hell of a play if he does. Um, and if he does, would I scout for the Aquatail? Arrow, Dax. Well, actually, I can't really because um, that would be the play. Honestly, that would be the play that would bring him back. Uh, dual wing beat does knock me out, and that's not even Mega Aerodactyl. Wait, why does Mega Aerodactyl do less? Oh, because it was probably Choice Band. Yes, it was Choice Band. Okay, so Mega Aerodactyl does uh, can knock me out with dual wing beat if he's jolly. He's probably jolly because he needs to be to outspeed. He goes high dragon. Okay, that's what we expected. Okay, beautiful. Um, so now I'm going to actually expect him to go into the Aerodactyl. Does does Aerodactyl get Starmie? Can I double right into Starmie? Um, he cannot one-hit knockout Starmie. Uh, the only thing I'm afraid of is a U-turn. Only thing I'm afraid of is a U-turn. But if I hit Sleep Talk and don't get Liquidation on his getting in Aerodactyl and Eclix Home Claws, then we're in deep, 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 deep trouble. So actually, I think he can just freely U-turn. Um, so as long as he doesn't have Hazards up, actually, Starmie can still revenge the Dactyl. And again, uh, Hat wins if I can find a place in time for it to set up. Uh, and actually, you know what I should have done? So, well, okay, let's not worry about that right now. Um, let's worry about Hydreigon versus Hatterene. Uh What if he U-turns? That does nothing still. I'm expecting a U-turn here. Um, but he, he, he would have, if he was Scarf U-turn, he would have clicked at turn one. Um, the thing is, I just, I can't let him, I can. Yep, here's the U-turn, so that's why I click Sleep Talk. Come on, we gotta get the liquidate. If he goes into Aerodactyl, we gotta get the liquidate. It's a one and three. We already got a crit though. That's true. We did already get a crit. So I would deserve to, to get like rest or something. So now he's gotta balance the risk. He knows that you know I shouldn't have even run Leech Life. <laughs> I should have just had liquidate. In comes Nitto King. Come on, give me that liquidate. Give me the liquidation. Give me the liquidation. Yes! Oh my and another crit. Hold on. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, so he is for sure tilting. I'm sure. I'm sure. Because that... I'm curious. I'm looking that up right now. Um, uh, Nitto King... Okay, the crit didn't matter, but it was still... Um, or the crit shouldn't have mattered, unless he was, like, massively... Uh, so that was one turn of Sleep Talk, right? Yeah, we're going to do it again. He's going to dual wing B. That's going to take me out. That's fine. Uh, we are going to go right into uh, Centrifuge. And I think we click Stone Edge. Um, I've got to find a way to get in. Uh, actually, the safer thing would have been go Starmie there. I should have gone Starmie there. Starmie maybe just won the game there too. Um, I'm going to click Stone Edge. So, at least that crit doesn't look like it mattered. Um, but the fact that I got the liquidation still uh, was huge. Absolutely huge. Hydreigon's going to come out. We're going to hit it with a Stone Edge. Um, I think this is where... Do we just Ice Shard for... No, we don't really need to... Because we want this to... Well, no, hold on. Next time... I think it will Ice Shard, because next time that uh, 
Aerodactyl comes in, I can go to Starmie. Maybe I just rocks. Um, expecting a U-turn. And then if he... He hasn't eaten a berry, so I could try to Trick Room on him. He can still win this. This is not over. Um, so Starmie, uh, let's see. I think I want my Stealth Rocks to help. Uh, or Ice Shard. No, Stealth Rock is better to help with the Aerodactyl. So we're going to not get flinched. Nice. And then the Poison will take... Maybe... Oh, because of... Oh, nice. The Poison. Okay, so we'll Ice Shard. Get some damage. Out comes Dark Pulse. I wonder if he was bluffing the Not Scarf. I'm going to I'm gonna go for it. I'm going to go for that right now. Um, Trick Room. And then, actually, that makes... Uh, the Trick Room also makes Lopany faster than Aerodactyl. Um, or should, anyway. Uh, and this thing, if it is Scarfed. Um, maybe the play there was Lopany. No, because if I go Lopany, he Dark Pulses, hoping for a flinch, and I maybe get him... Yeah, okay. So this is kind of what we expected. We're going to get the Trick Room. Uh, he's going to want to get rid of those rocks. But now, if he does that, I think we just Dazzling Gleam, which is more. What does more to Silvali? Silvali. Uh, it depends on his investment entirely. I'm going to Dazzling Gleam because that's he can't like double back or anything crazy. I think I can just spam Dazzling Gleam right now. I'll have to double check the last uh, time we played. So yeah, he gets rid of the rocks, but I get... Uh, I'm still. I still have three turns where I can click Dazzling Gleam. Um, so, I mean, I assume Aerodactyl goes down to that. Uh, uh, Dazzling. No, he does live. Actually, he should live this. Um, and he's gonna hurt me bad. Oh, we crit him again. At least this time the crit doesn't really matter that much. Um, so the problem is the Scarf I Dragon still. Um, I think I just Dazzling Gleam twice still. I don't know how much that crit... Well, I won't, I won't rub it in. I mean, so that crit right there I don't think mattered because I would just get him on this turn anyway. Um... <laughs> um, but so Trick Room runs out I'm uh, <laughs> I'm going to make the safe play and I'm going to click Daz and Gleam, I'm sorry man <laughs> he's going to go for the Dark Pulse we live on one, wow okay <laughs> living sorry man that was rough uh, he left before he saw my message I'll message him in Discord um Yeah, so that crit on Aerodactyl at the end I don't think mattered. Um, the crit on Slow King probably... I mean, so it knocked it out, so it definitely did, and it has Regenerator, so it definitely did matter. Um, the crit on Nidoking King, again, I think, depending on his investment, I don't think it, it matters. Um, uh, well, either way, we're uh, that puts us in finals, so... Um, We'll catch you next week in the final, or, well, whenever that, whenever that happens. <laughs> we'll catch you in the finals week.